Now on to the storm overnight that has left tens of thousands without power and severe damage in its wake. Here's Local 5's Timothy Lato with the effects of the powerful wind and all those lightning strikes. A trail of destruction follows the early Tuesday morning storm with multiple lightning strikes destroying this transformer and making this barn a total loss. Lightning, strong winds, uh, the damaging winds that we saw last night, those can all impact our customers. The Lawrence Fire Department had a busy night with a dozen calls for service. Most were fallen trees related to the storm, but there was one call of a lightning strike on a house. It was a safety concern for our crews uh, operating uh, on the exterior of a residence, uh, holding metal objects such as axes and halogen bars and ladders. The damage is estimated at around $30,000, but Chief Pasturski said his crew put the fire out within minutes, keeping his crews safe and preventing further damage. Uh, in my 30 years of doing this, this is the structure fire that I've been at that had the least amount of damage. 4, 4.30 this morning, we had a lightning strike. It woke us up. Didn't think much about it. Uh, went back to sleep. Justin Mallman has lived in Brothertown in Calumet County for three years and has seen plenty of storms, but was not prepared for the sight in the laundry room that greeted him when he woke up. Kind of terrifying at first. You could smell wires burning, didn't know if there was fire in the wall, and there was lint all over. I pulled the dryer out and noticed that the dryer venting was all blowing apart and the floor was all black behind the dryer. Fortunately, there was no fire, and he just needs to replace appliances and get his power restored and that's expected to be soon. We anticipate that 98% of customers who are impacted by this morning's severe storms will have power restored by the end of Tuesday. In Lawrence, Timothy Lateau, Local 5 News. Officials are reminding everyone to stay at least 25 feet away from any downed power lines that you come across and report them to law enforcement or the energy provider.